Traffic will be heavy today. Traffic drones report heavy congestion leading into I-94's on-ramp into West Edsel Freeway. Eight stacks high traffic sandwich. Air traffic control has instructed commuters to avoid this highly congested area. Go public transport people, the hyperloops working again. Thank goodness for Chinese ingenuity. It's up again, so avoid clogging up what's already clogged. Sylvia, it's messed up again. I'm going to be late again. It's a wonder anything gets done here. American know-how, my foot. Could you drop me off at Dearborn Hyper Station like five minutes ago? Sylvia Chang Brown is a woman of many talents, but patience has its limits, especially this morning. She doesn't need this, not now. She grimaces as Leonard Brown continues his monologue. Doesn't he stop? She thinks to herself, forgetting of course that she is logged on to Popo Brown, the name she gives the home jarring AI net. Sylvia, a soft motherly voice whispers in her ear, your heartbeat and pulse are above normal. I sense anger. Huh? I'm okay, Popo. A lot of things on my mind at the moment. Yes, Leonard, I'll drop you off as soon as Justin's done. Leonard sighs and crumples dejectedly into the couch. Justin, food's ready. Come down and eat. We have to hurry. Dad needs a lift. Justin Chang Brown, eight-year-old child of the Browns, rushes down to the kitchen and into his breakfast. Justin, 48 chews before you swallow, please. Yes, Popo, I will. Unlike his dad, Justin, with the insistence of his mom, keeps his family name. I need him associated with China. Don't we all? Sarcasm was never Leonard's forte. That usually starts a firestorm of arguments from Sylvia. Justin, like many others of his IS or intelligence spectrum, are in the midst of ability match period. Justin has been identified as having some autistic ability. In 22nd century Earth, autism is generally regarded as humans with special abilities that can and should be nurtured to reach full potential. Today is a special day for Justin as somehow he knows the outcome. It's all good, Popo. Mom, drone pickups here. Better tell them that's coming along. The Browns rushed out of their home to the waiting transport drone, which was on its scheduled charter. The cab was designed for two passengers, as the booking of charter specified two persons for transport to the East Lansing Education Hub. The cab itself was designed to alter its configuration as it sees fit. Another innovation from the wonders of integrated AI into public transportation. However, due to the unplanned inclusion of Mr. Brown, the cab was unable to alter its configuration in time to accommodate the additional passenger. Dad, you're squeezing me. Leonard, could you move over and give us a bit of space, thank you? Leonard sighs and moves as much as he could to allow the other members of his family in. Please buckle up, we are in ascent. We should be airborne shortly. The transport drone takes the passengers above the gridlock airspace as the occupants are barely able to comfortably adjust their seats. We will be stopping at your station momentarily, Mr. Brown. Safety first, Dad. The drone descends into a spiral fashion and in no time, latches on to an available landing slot. Thank you for your company, Mr. Brown. We hope to see you again. The cap effortlessly rises and continues its journey to East Lansing. Before long, the gleaming silver dome-like structures of the Education Hub comes into view. Overhead, the view is breathtaking as the sprawling hub looks like multiple large mushroom-shaped domes connected to each other and continues into the horizon. The cat makes its landing approach autonomously as it descends into the many student draw-off pads. Good morning, Justin. Mrs. Brown, I hope the trip was pleasant for you. I heard traffic gridlock was horrendous this morning. We were concerned that it would affect your arrival time. Thankfully, you're here and with ample time to spare. Nervous energy would best describe Fatima Sutira, the assigned learning observer mentor from UNESCO. This is one of her very first assignments. After the year-long aptitude character apprenticeship, the Education Guild favours only the best. There are no exceptions as far as education learning is concerned, more so today. Perfection from its best will ensure that the multiple sites at other education hubs globally will be coordinated to ensure that practice assessments will be undertaken smoothly.